Despite the fact that throughout the election period the West, the US, exerted unprecedented pressure on the Georgian people and government, the Georgian people refused to accept those opposition parties that express the interests of foreign countries. Today the West is trying to declare the election results illegitimate. This is also facilitated by the agent of the West, President Zorobishvili, who says that the elections were completely falsified. But they have no reason to claim that the elections were falsified. There were thousands of observers, media representatives. After the Georgian people saw that the West is trying to carry out a third consecutive coup d'etat, they are now fighting to defend their right to exist. Western agencies do not have the necessary resources for a revolution in Georgia. Of course, they gather people at rallies, but this is not a mass. Now we are moving in the direction of Russia, because Georgian society, the Georgian people, the Georgian government have realized that it is necessary to live peacefully with Russia. The coup d'etat in 2003 brought Saakashvili to power. Russophobia and anti-Russian propaganda appeared here. And now they want it too. The West, for example, forbids Georgia from listening to Russian music, reading Russian books. For us, these are decisive elections. Georgia has been under the occupation of the United States for 30 years. In Ukraine, they want us to start a fight with Russia from our territory. They want to open a second front in our country. We do not want hostility with Russia. We want to improve relations with Russia. We are friends forever.